Today I will break down the Ken Carson Money Spread music video effect. Yo, it's Povikas here and let's begin. Alright, so here I have some clips from Ken Carson, from the Ken Carson Fighting My Demons music video and also Run Plus Ran music video. And here we can create an adjustment layer by pressing Ctrl Alt Y. And on the adjustment layer, we're going to have some effects from the Sapphire plugin and also some non-plugin effects. So the first effect I'll add here is as hotspots. Now with the music video, you can see that you can barely see Ken Carson. Uh, one effect you can use to do that is actually as hotspots. So as you can see, you already can barely see Ken Carson and stuff, but I'm actually not going to make it this low. So I'm going to make it to 0 0.4, the threshold. So you can see a bit more of him, but you can definitely adjust this. If you make it higher, you will be able to see less of this. And and now we can add sharpen if you notice like the colors are very sharp in the music video so we can make the sharpen like 93 instantly adds the sharpness a lot and now we can add noise the music video was very grainy and noisy and i'm gonna make the amount of noise to like 25 and also i'm gonna turn off the use color noise already looking pretty good so now i'm just gonna add noise again and here i'm gonna make it to 25 again and turn off the use color noise already looks pretty cool and you can save this as if you want but we can still keep going uh, so another effect I would really recommend that here is curves. Now this curves graph is kind of funky. So you want to make one point here, one point here, one point here, and one point here. Now how you want to go about this is drag this point a bit down. Actually not like even a bit down, maybe like right there, yeah. And you want to take this point and just drag it a bit up here. This point and drag it like right here. And take this point and drag it like right here. And take this point back and drag it back up here. Yeah, that looks cool. As you can see, like in the music video, the color pop out a lot it looks very grungy this is basically what it did before and after makes it more grungier a bit less visible as well and another effect i like that here is as jpeg damage this effect is for lowering the quality and i'm actually going to make the quality here to 0 0.15 but the res rel x to 2 all right now i'm just going to add mosaic this effect is used to also lower the quality of the video. And here I'll make the horizontal blocks to 300, the vertical blocks to 300 as well. There you can see already that damages the look. And now I will add fast box blur. Here I'm gonna make the blur radius 2.5. Just wanna give it a bit more blur and also damage the quality. Uh, but now, as you can see, it's a bit too blurry. I mean, you can keep it like this, but I'm gonna add unsharp mask to a bit unblur it. I'll make the amount to 200 and the radius to eight. Now that is starting to look very damaged and very cool. Another effect I like to add here is hue saturation. Uh, this is basically to desaturate the clip. So I'm gonna make the master saturation to like minus 54, very random. And I already desaturated. Now you could have not added this if you wanted a bit more colors, but I just like to have it like this. Uh, another effect I like to add here is levels. I like to make the input black to 50. This makes it even darker. And the last effect I like to add here is exposure. Exposure is gonna expose the parts that are left. So I'm gonna make the exposure to one. And yeah, now that is very similar to the effect you can see in the music video. You can make it darker for some clips. For some clips, you really do not want to make it darker. Like, look how that looks. That looks super cool. Uh, one thing I found to work nicely is like you can make the resolution to half. Then it's gonna be more damaged and it will look more grungy. So I kind of like it like this, but also full is good. But third or quarter are a bit too much damage. I'm not gonna lie. And yeah, this is basically how the effect looks. You can save it as a preset and you can do a lot. Like again, you really need to mess around with like the hotspots and the other effects. And you do need to have the Sapphire plugin. Now, if you have the Sapphire plugin and also a signal plugin, you can use my ultimate opium bundle to give crazy dark opium aesthetic looks. I don't know how to explain it. So I kind of want to show you. So for those of you who have the signal and Sapphire plugin, I really recommend to check out the ultimate opium bundle. So from the ultimate opium bundle, we can use the opium precess v2, which is my newest pack. So the first look you get from the pack is opium 2 agony. So I'm just going to drag it down. This is opium precess v2 from ultimate opium bundle. And you instantly get this super damaged dark look that you see in opium music videos. I have made a bunch of these dark looks, but also like some night vision looks. Another crazy dark look that is super cool is broken noise. Yeah, as you can see, that looks like the Jennifer's body music video effect. In this ultimate bundle, we also have opium 2 dark poison which is like a night vision opium effect i just really love these type of effects again before and after i really like how this enhances the look a lot if you like the low quality looks then you can add like exposed signal and this makes it very low quality very like exposed you know and if you really like the low quality then minus quality opium 2 minus quality is a crazy effect 
I mean, just look at that. And for supporting the channel, I also have a $5 discount code for the Ultimate Opium Bundle or just the separate packs, which is called Povikas. You can use it to save $5 off on the Ultimate Opium Bundle. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. I really do have to say thank you for the recent support. I can't believe we have grown so fast on the channel. But anyways, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.